ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang kanilang brain power through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Everyone, please welcome, first of all, Isaac. A business administration student of UP Diliman. He likes cooking and working out. Versil is a second year BS physics student in UP Diliman who plans to take astrophysics as a career. He's an illustration artist and learns programming as a hobby. Hana in the meantime is a freshie in UP Diliman currently taking up mining engineering. Her hobbies are singing, playing instruments, and sleeping. The best hobby of all, she listens to Ariana Grande and Leve. Giovanna is a mechanical engineering student of UP Diliman. She likes food, traveling, photography, and is a proud bisdak. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. Up next, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. And finally, joining our panel for the first time is science high school teacher, quiz show champion, and author of textbooks and reviewers, our very own quiz master, Jose Ramon Lorenzo. Truly a first. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Get ready to buzz in and collect those points, but make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by the host. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's begin. Let's begin. Question number one. What common term refers to the building material made from a mixture of gravel, sand, cement, and water? Versil. Concrete. Okay, let me continue with the question. And water that is often poured into molds, your answer is concrete. That is correct. Key check. Question number two. What does the pH stand for in the degree PhD? Brazil. Philosophy. Philosophy is correct. Key check. Question number three. What word starting with the letter B may mean occurring every 14 days? Isaac. Uh, Bi-weekly. Bi-weekly is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. A GMO is an animal, plant, or microbe whose DNA has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. What do the letters GMO stand for? Versil. Genetically modified organism. Genetically modified organism is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Complete the common idiom. Cross the blank when you get there. Brazil. Bridge. Bridge is correct. K check. Question number six. In math, what number must be multiplied to 20 to get 60? Brazil. Three. Three is correct. K check. Question number seven. The Department of Health has issued a warning about the prevalence of walking pneumonia. What system of the human body does pneumonia affect the most? Brazil. Respiratory. Respiratory or respiratory system is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In science, a watt is a unit of power. How many watts are there in one kilowatt? Brazil. 3,600. 3,600 is malik. Anyone can steal? Isaac. Uh, 1,000. 1,000 is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the name of the female superhero created by Mars Ravelo? Uh, Isaac. Uh, Darna. 
Let me proceed with the question. As was recently portrayed in television by Jane De Leon, your answer is Tarna. That is correct. K check. Question number 10. In speed limits, what does K stand for in the abbreviation KPA? Versil. Kilometer or kilometers is correct. K check. Question number 11. St. Nicholas of Myra is a traditional model or basis for which popular Christmas personality? Versil. Santa Claus. Santa Claus is correct. K check. Last question for this round, number 12. From the French word for froth, what term may refer to a dessert with whipped cream and beaten egg white or a creamy substance that is put on the hair or skin? Savannah. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is mali. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is moose. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. After that round, we have Versil in the lead with 80 points, followed by Isaac with 30, and of course, Hannah and Giovanna with a lot of catching up to do. Bago muna tayo magpatuloy, I'm sure alam ni Sir Mon Lorenzo exactly how it feels to be in the contestant shoes. Having been a competitor sa IQ7 ng student canteen, nung siya ay kasing edad ng mga contestants natin. Yan ang susunod na question sa second round. Pero how does it feel, Sir Mon, to be part of our panel of experts? Papahirapan mo ba ang mga contestants natin ngayon bilang ganti? Hindi <laughs> naman. Uh, mas madali nga ngayon eh, kasi as expert, yung mga question ay multiple choice. Diba? Yung dati kong mga tanong, identification tulad nung kangina. Yung mousse, hindi nila nakuha yung mousse. Ang sarap ng chocolate mousse, hindi ba kayo kumakain? <laughs> Pero maraming salamat, Sir Mon. Kausapin din natin ang ating mga contestants. Hannah is currently studying mining engineering. Can you tell us more about your course and what you plan to do in your field when you're done? Uh, sa mining engineering po, uh, pinag-aaralan namin yung kung paano mag-plan yung paano i-plan yung mining process from the first step which is yung exploration hanggang sa last step which is yung rehabilitation. So, plan ko po after yung pag-aaral ko. Magtitik po muna ako ng boards then maghahanap po ako ng job na nasa mining engineering po. At uh, how does Leve fit into your plans? Inspiration ba si Leve? Oh. Ah, kilala mo si Leve? <laughs> Hindi. <laughs> Spotify ko sa <siya> mama. <laughs> Ang inspiring niya po kasi, like for example po sa isang song niya na I wish you love, mm -hmm. parang instead of wishing harm sa mga taong nakakasakit sa atin, dapat po we wish for their happiness ka lang po. So, ginagamit ko po siya sa inspiration kung paano po ako naganak ba sa buhay ko. Ayun. Parang pang Miss Universe ang saga. Ang heavy for a phrase, you know? <laughs> Okay. Ngayon naman, thank you so much, Hannah. Si Giovanna naman, bakit mechanical engineering? And paka-explain na rin para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ano nga ba itong BISTAC? So, first, I chose mechanical engineering kasi I recognize na napaka-broad niya na field of study. So, marami akong pwedeng pasukan after. And as someone na mahilig mag-explore sa, sa mga maraming bagay, it's very ideal for me. And for those who don't know what this duck is, it is short for Bisayang Dako. So, I'm Bisaya. So, <laughs> Dako is malaki. Tama? Yes. Like, proud Bisaya. Okay. Proud Bisaya. Proud Bisaya. Yes. Pero madalas ko na rin naririnig yung Bisdak bis na yan, di ba? Ayan, marami mga Bisdak sa UP, eh, taga-UP, di ba? Pero galing ka ng Bisayas and then you came to Manila yes, for, so, ano, for, study. for mechanical engineering. So, mamaya itutuloy rin natin ang ating kwentuhan pero kailangan na muna natin paghandaan ang round 2. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Pika po na tayo ng mga points. Nangunguna si Versil with 80 points. 
followed by Isaac with 30 points at kailangan humabol ni Nahana and Giovanna. Would you believe Versil is actually a returning contestant who reached the semi-finals? Wow. So tell us about your experience last season. I did alright. Kasi lang nung, nung semi-finals ano, puyat ako kayo dito. So talagang nacha-challenge ka talaga. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> cool na cool, di ba? Si Astro Boy. Oh, si Astro Boy. <laughs> na. Ngayon naman, si Isaac naman. So parang tama lang na mahilig siyang magluto tapos mahilig din siyang mag-workout. Lalo na kung inuubos niya lahat ng niluluto niya. Pero sabi nga nila, pag ikaw daw yung nagluluto, hindi mo daw makain kasi nauumay ka na. Totoo ba yon? At nasa plano mo ba na gumawa ng restaurant business in the future, Isaac? Uh, hindi naman sa nauumay kasi I divide my meals naman per week. Naka-weekly plan ako sa meal kasi since I left. Then, uh, in the future, I plan actually to open a business uh, sa food kasi... Ama Pinoy mahilig sa fried chicken eh. So, I'm thinking I'm thinking of a fried chicken business in the future, hopefully. Nako patok sa mga Pinoy. Oo, oh, 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 number. 'Di ba our survey says chicken ang number one. Yes. Fave food ng mga Pilipino. Yes, as lagi mo nang kick ng calorie count, 'di ba? Para Ay. healthy living, kunwari. Ano ba 'yan? Kakain ka na lang may <laughs> calorie chicken, count ka. Fried chicken, fried chicken, calorie count. Okay, so now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Question number one. The clavicle is the bone between the shoulder and the neck in the human body. What is the common name of the clavicle? Versil. Collarbone. The collarbone is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. In music, from the Italian word for low, what term refers to the lowest sounding regular instrument of the woodwind family? The lowest sounding regular instrument of the woodwind family is the bassoon. Question number three, what frozen dessert is the title of a hit song by Selena Gomez and Blackpink. Giovanna. Ice cream. Ice cream is the correct answer. Nakakagutom itong episode na to. Ha? Question number four. In animated TV, what is the name of the environmentalist superhero who is formed by five people from five different continents? Isaac. Captain Planet. Sing. <laughs> Hindi mo alam ang theme song ng Captain Planet, but Captain Planet is the correct answer. K-check. Is Captain Planet your favorite hero? Question number five. What term refers to a high explosive consisting of nitroglycerin mixed with an absorbent material and typically molded into sticks? Versil. Dynamite. Dynamite is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six in mathematics. As differentiated from volume, it is defined as the maximum quantity a container can hold when full. What is this term? The correct answer is capacity. Question number seven. Launched in 2003, it was the first social network to reach a global audience. Versil. Facebook. Facebook is incorrect. Isaac. MySpace. MySpace is the correct answer. Okay, check. I was about to ask Versil, late ka ba pinanganak at hindi mo naabutan ang MySpace? Question number eight. Lake Lanao is the second largest lake in the Philippines. It is the source of water for hydroelectric power for the surrounding area. In what island can you find Lake Lanao? Versil. The island of Mindanao. Mindanao is the correct answer. K-check. Question number nine. Which interactive children's TV series follows an animated blue-spotted dog as she leaves a trail of clues and paw prints for the host? Isaac? Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 10. In sports this time, 
Which American swimmer has won the most gold medals at the Olympic Games? Isaac. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Which Dutch post impressionist artist painted Starry Night? Versil? Van Gogh. Van Gogh is the correct answer. K check. And last question for this round. What common cooking fuel is a dark porous carbon prepared from wood? Isaac? Charcoal. Charcoal is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round two. Okay, scores recap muna tayo for this round. Versil is leading with 150 points. Followed by Isaac with 130 points. Giovanna with 20 points. And si Hannah, kaya mo pang humabol sa ating last round oh, mamaya. Kaya hindi pa tapos ang ating laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Scores recap muna tayo. Versil is leading with 150 points, followed by Isaac with 130 points, Giovanna with 20 points, and Hana, pwede pang humabol sa ating last round. Meron pa nga tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. Dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. First question for this round will come from Prof. Ricky. During an earthquake, the point on the Earth's surface directly above the seismic activity is known as what? Versil. Epicenter. The epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface directly above the earthquake point of origin or focus. K-check. Thank you. Prof. Lu? In Philippine history, after Cebu, what is the second oldest created province in the Philippines, founded in 1566? Letter A, Iloilo. Letter B, Pampanga. Letter C, Laguna. Letter D, Ilocos Sur, letter E, Bulacan. Isaac. Letter A, Iloilo. The correct answer is letter A, Iloilo, K-check. Thank you. Sir Mon? Oh, next question is in mathematics. But there is no computation needed. Which of the following is the only whole number that is right between a perfect square and a perfect cube? A, 226, B, 99, C, 9, D, 26, E, 617. Versil. D, 26 is between 5 squared, which is 25, 9 cubed, which is 27. 26, K check. Thank you. Drop three key. Alam ko din yung sagot na. <laughs> yes po. Okay, next po, Prof. Ricky. Okay, sa chemistry naman tayo. What is the term for the measure of an atom's attraction for electrons in a chemical bond? A. Ionization energy. B. Electronegativity. C. Electron affinity. D. Atomic radius. And E. Valence electron count. Versil. C. C. Electron affinity. Mali. Anybody want to steal? Isaac. A letter B, electronegativity. Electronegativity is a measure of the tendency of an atom to attract a bonding pair of electrons. K check. Thank you, Prof. Lu. Asian history. In which West Asian country was oil first discovered in 1908? Letter A, Iran. Letter B, Iraq. Letter C. Isaac. Iraq. Letter B. Mali. No. Let Versil. Iran. 
Iran is correct. K check. Sermon, next question, please. Oh, next question is in movies. Yeah, medyo light ngayon. Ah, who is the youngest among these five very famous Hollywood actors? Letter A, Johnny Depp. Letter B, Nicolas Cage. Letter C, Tom Cruise. Letter D, Brad Pitt. Letter E, Jim Carrey. The youngest. Isaac. Letter A, Johnny Depp. Letter A, Johnny Depp is not correct. No. Giovanna. D, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is not correct. Anna. Letter E. Letter E. E, Jim Carrey. Yes. Is also not correct. Versil, <laughs> <laughs> did you want to steal? <laughs> he does not want to take a chance. Okay. Tom Cruise and Jim Carrey were both born in 1962. Brad Pitt and Johnny Depp were born in 1963. Nicolas Cage was born in 1964. Therefore, he is the youngest. Nicolas Cage. But maybe he might look the oldest. But he's the youngest. Buti lang hindi siya nanonood sa akin. Okay, thank you so much for that uh, information, Sir Mo. Next question from Sir Ricky. Prof. Ricky. What is the term for the measure of salt content in seawater, usually expressed as parts per thousands or pp? Versive. Salinity. Salinity is the measure of salt content in seawater expressed as ppt. Okay, check. Next question, Prof. Lu. A world geography naman tayo. How many time zones does Russia have? Letter A, 8. Letter B, 9. Letter C, 10. Letter D, 11. Letter E, 12. The correct answer is letter D, 11. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Sir, one. Oh, let us go back to math. This is in geometry. What geometric figure is also known as a regular hexahedron? A. Pyramid. B. Cube. C. Prism. D. Sphere. E. Tetra. Versil. Cube. Letter B, cube, it's regular, meaning they have the same measure of edges and angles, and then it's a hexahedron, it has six faces. Cube, K-check. Okay, so we're now off to our last set of questions for this round. Prof. Riki, go ahead. What is the name of the molecule that carries genetic information? Versil. DNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is the molecule that contains the genetic instructions for the development and functioning of all living organisms. K check. Thank you. Prof. Lu. In world history, which organization was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1917? Letter A, the Red Cross. Letter B, Habitat for Humanity. Letter C, Greenpeace. Letter D, World Food Program. And letter E, Doctors Without Borders. Isaac. Letter A. The answer is letter A, the Red Cross, K-Check. Thank you. Last question for this round. Sir Mon, go ahead. Uh, question on geography. What is the largest city that can be found in two continents? A. Cairo B. Moscow C. Panama City D. Gibraltar E. Istanbul Versil E. Istanbul E. Istanbul is found in Turkey and Istanbul is in Europe and Asia Istanbul K-Check and that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. 
I think this must be one of the rare times where we hit 300 points yes. for any contestant. If it's not the only time we've reached 300 points, it's the second time. Yes. So congratulations, Versil, who came back with Bowing a vengeance, Boeing Bowe, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 345 wow. points. We'll see Versil again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Siyempre, gusto rin natin magpasalamat kina Isaac, Hannah, and Giovanna for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Ricky, Professor Lou, and Sir Mon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Galing, Ako po good si fight. Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.